You're on. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. Okay, let's begin with a word of prayer. Uh, you have meals? Let's begin with a word of prayer and uh, get into our morning worship of God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, how great we are to just study who and what you are, study who and what your Son is, the power of your Spirit. Father, this is more important to us than anything else we do. Just the rise and fall of nations, all of these things. What's important to each of the nation that comes along is that we are going to advance the understanding of God. So, Father, we pray this morning we'll be glorifying to you, glorifying to your Son. Father, we pray these things in Christ's name and for his sake. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Number 155, hymn 155, This is my Father's world. This is my Father's world. scripture reading is going to be from Ezekiel 1, starting at verse 22. Now over the heads of living beings there was something like an expanse, like the awesome gleam of crystal spread out over their heads. Under the expanse their wings were stretched out straight one towards the other. Each one all had two wings covering its body on one side and on the other. I also heard the sound of their wings like the sound of abundant waters as they went like the voice of the Almighty. A sound of the tumult, like the sound of an army camp. Wherever they stood still, they dropped their wings. And there came a voice from above the expanse that was over their heads whenever they stood still, 
they dropped their wings. Now above the expanse was over their heads, there was something resembling a throne, like lapis lazuli in the appearance and on which resembled a throne, high up was a figure with the appearance of a man. Then I noticed from the appearance of his loins and upward something glowing metal that looked like fire all around it from within. And from the appearance of his loins and downward, I saw something like a fire and there was a radiance around him. As the appearance of the rainbow in the clouds on a rainy day, so was the appearance of surrounding radiance. Such was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell on my face and heard a voice speaking. Okay, would you all join us again in number 216, song number 216, Great is Thy Faithfulness. see you dear oh, hope you're feeling, be feeling better we'll continue yes. to be in prayer for your uh, health situation yes. just nice to see you smiling 
Uh, I know you're appreciating it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Prayer requests this morning. I uh, uh, we have on our our. Uh, uh, Let's see. Well, first of all, I wish I could show you this photo. I'm going to try and share it to the web page, our, our church web page later. I got a picture of uh, uh, Brother Linus Akfa last week. He sent me a picture. Somebody had taken of him uh, wearing a, a, a rain slicker going out to the villages on his motorcycle in the pouring rain. This week, uh, he sent me a picture. There are four children, a mother, and Brother Linus on his motorcycle. He goes and collects uh, uh, all these you know, people from neighboring villages and brings them all together in one place. And uh, it, at least it wasn't raining when he had five people on this motorcycle this time. Okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, he's our, our missionary uh, of, uh, of the month here, and we're trying to raise some funds to help him uh, uh, at least continue his ministry, if not get some better pre transportation. Uh, also in our prayer list, of course, is uh, 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 Larry Rickard. Um, Lori's dad, uh, he's, he's, he starts next week, right? On he his starts season. on Tuesday, chemo and radiation. He'll be doing simultaneously five days a week for six weeks. Um, the prayer is that it will help shrink down the mass, which is about six inches um, down so that they can do surgery. And uh, prayer for encouragement. When we got to see my mom and dad, they're super encouraged. They're trusting the Lord. They know he has a plan. My dad knows where he's going. He is praying for... Um, all this to, to be successful, but if it's time for him to go home, he knows where he's going. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, he, they have been such an encouragement to my sister and brother and all of our family just in the way that they're handling it and, and just knowing that God's in charge. So I would just ask for strength for my dad. Um, don't know how his body's going to respond to this and strength for my mom as she's his caregiver and, and taking care of that. And just wisdom for us. Chris and I are going to try to get over there as much as possible to help where needed. So thank you all for praying for him. Yeah. We've already already started and we're going to keep it up the thank whole you. time. Thank you. you know, yes. Like the... Uh, like the old song says, everybody wants to go to heaven, just don't want to go now. You know? yeah. um, <laughs> but uh, uh, let's see, also on our prayer list, uh, Tish is good, uh, still in need of prayers. And uh, uh, Terry has is, is made it this morning with her bum wing. And, uh, it takes uh, me a little yeah. longer and get ready. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, let's see, Bobby is, uh, has a, a muscle injury in his shoulder related to his uh, his. Uh, back injury right you're so worried about uh, healing his back they missed the shoulder up until now and now he's gonna have to have another surgery and uh that'll, that'll slow things down in his recovery i think the doctors they're gonna do an mri to see how serious it is but they're still gonna have to wait till he gets that show off he's got to be more stable yeah because that surgery is going to require not use of that arm for months yeah. so if, the, if it is what they think it is yeah yeah so he'll have to wait on that but yes he, so he needs because it's painful, you know. Yeah, yeah. Pain management and uh, getting around, and you know, got to quit hitting, got to quit hurting here, so you can concentrate on hurting there. And, <laughs> and, 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 you know, this crowd can understand that. They, yes. uh, that that's the, uh, Martha recovering from her, her second knee surgery, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Mike Bell. We added him last week. Please keep Mike in your uh, uh, prayers. You, you spoke with Mike, yeah. and uh, yeah. good. I, I, I know he's, he's glad to hear from you because he thought you had passed away. <laughs> so, wait, was he asking, did he ask you if that was a long distance call? <laughs> Somebody told him I was gone. <laughs> oh, well, um, all right. So uh, we uh, have an extensive prayer list. Uh, Jeff, everything going okay with you and your job situation? Yeah, it's not. It's Everything's fine. I mean, there's still waiting, but I'm not in no rush, but, but thank you for asking. Well, we'll keep praying. Yes. <laughs> Until you say you're stable, we'll keep praying. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, all right. Uh, well, there are prayer needs set before you. Remember, uh, we have the, the needs of our church uh, uh, to give to. Uh, if you, you want to give to... Tony. Huh? You need to be in prayer for Tony. Tony? Yeah, Tony oh, the, the landlord. The landlord? Yes. Is he yes, having a Oh my goodness! Yeah. Hospital? No, I, nobody knows what he what he really was there for. Uh, mm -hmm. Do we know? Yeah. No, can't say for sure. Okay, just suspect. <laughs> okay, well, we will be in prayer for Tony because uh, 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 our deal is strictly with Tony. We okay. want him around. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so uh, uh, be in prayer for Tony as well. 
and he's a nice guy. Oh, yeah. uh, let's see. Um, uh, so we have, uh, uh, if you want to uh, give to help uh, Brother Linus in his mission in Nigeria, uh, uh, you can do that uh, just by earmarking your contribution online, or you can write it on your check, and Jeff will be keeping an eye on it. We've got two or three hundred dollars uh, saved up so far, and uh, I'll let you give you a final report when we when we get a, uh, an amount for him to send to him, and uh, then we'll we'll start concentrating on our next uh, 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 missionary we can help out here. Yes, ma'am. Uh, could you please let people on the internet know that we sent all of the packages uh, locally and internationally last week. If they have not received the tracking number, it simply means I missed the, them, so please send the email again. Okay. Yeah, so we had a, a small breakdown in our, our uh, tape ordering process, and uh, uh, Julie and Brian have diligently been playing catch-up. If you have ordered CDs or lessons on, on uh, recordings of lessons, if you haven't got a tracking number, that means we're still missing you. Please reach out again, okay? Other than that, uh, everybody should have got a tracking number in your packages in route, both internationally and domestic. Okay. Yeah. Any others? Yes, ma'am? Just please pray for all of our kids that have returned to school, all ages, um, and our college kids. Lots and lots of college kids that are, um, for the first time, heading off. Nick drove up by himself Friday to the <coughs> State, starts class tomorrow. And uh, just if y'all would pray he finds a church, pray that he finds friends that will encourage him in his faith and that he can encourage and just for strength and endurance. Uh, and great start at school. And for, and for mama, yeah. <laughs> and daddy. <laughs> My brother said, how does it feel to be empty nesters? And I said, I don't know. We haven't just been the two of us alone yet. <laughs> We're working on that. But ben went back for a &M. He starts class on Wednesday. It's his senior year in the Corps. So big, big year for him in the Corps. He will be there five years for his engineering major. But all of these kids are in college, um, starting college, about to finish college, somewhere in college. Many of them are going to church. Many of them have started Bible studies. Many of them have not. So please pray that these, God will just keep pursuing them, that he will convict them to just, their relationship with the Lord is the most important thing, as we know. Just pray they continue to know that. Katerina, right? Yeah. Um, her picture will be up here. We can take a picture. We are getting it ready. So um, yeah. Kit's niece will be up here as well as part of our group that we're praying for. So y'all continue us prayer for our youngins. Could they hear that? Okay. I think so. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll amplify it. Because I didn't memorize all of it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, over 100 kids on that wall back there that have gone through our youth program and are out and about in the world. But uh, please be aware, the, the, the battle for the soul of America is being fought in classrooms right now. And anything that you can do as uh, to be involved in schools or to guide children is is for our the glory of our Savior and for the survival of our nation. Because yeah. as our, our our attitude toward Christ goes, so goes our nation. So yeah. we need to keep these values and uh, and uh, uh, understanding of of why we believe what we believe in the in the hearts and minds of these children. Do that any way they can including our youth group, because there's a fundraiser coming to you soon. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Back in October, I, I put a neighbor uh, on the list, Phil Holland. Yes. He just now came home from the hospital battling COVID. Uh, Channel 11 had a whole uh, interview with him uh, Wednesday night. You can go online if you want to <coughs> that interview. Oh, yeah, that was very good. I didn't realize that was your neighbor and the one that was on our prayer list. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. So he's still got a ways to go, even though he's home. Okay. He's well, we're, what was he on the television? COVID. COVID. He's been in the hospital since October. Very, I mean, he's gone into rehab. He's gone, you know. Very Almost a whole year. Stuff. And didn't he do a triathlon prior to that? Iron Man. Iron Man. Yeah. yeah. So he yeah. yeah. had so, and he gave all the glory to God on his interview. Awesome. Yeah, he and his wife did. Well, then we'll keep praying for him. And they are believers. Yes, really strong believers. Awesome. Fantastic. I'm glad, I'm glad he's home. And, uh, boy, that's a long road. Uh, yeah. A year. It's been touch and go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, any news from Joanna? Um, my, my uh, 
wife's uh, sister still waiting for surgery suspect that uh, the doctors are holding out for money um, oh, uh, no. and, uh, that's that's uh, the word I get so sometimes they say well yeah we can we can arrange this and uh, yeah, it would be nice if we had a little more money. We'll, we'll just uh, we we can't get the the, the, the team together yet. We, we'd like some more money. <laughs> if you want to bribe, tell us you want to bribe. You have a little integrity about your dishonesty. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Yeah. All right, let's keep all these prayer needs in mind as we go before the Lord and pray for these uh, fellow believers and those who need the Lord and uh, for our own meager needs here at, uh, at our local assembly. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, how magnificent it is that you have a plan for us. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this little assembly. We thank you for the global impact that you use uh, less than 50 people to, to sustain, Heavenly Father. It's uh, amazing to us that, that all that you do. And, and the length of this prayer list is uh, equally amazing, Heavenly Father, that uh, we have such a heart for our fellow believers and our family, and we bring them all before you. We continue to lift up uh, Tish and Bobby. We pray for uh, Terry's healing. We pray, Heavenly Father, for Judith's uh, doctors and, and for her journey and, and uh, pain relief there. We pray for Larry and all that he's about to go through, Heavenly Father. We just are so comforted that you hold him in your hands and pray that you will continue to do so. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for... Uh, uh, all the many opportunities that we have here in the local assembly. We just pray, Heavenly Father, that you would uh, take these offerings that are given and use them to glorify your Son and to spread the word of your gospel, Heavenly Father. We pray that through his glorification, more would come to you. And we ask these things in his name. Amen. Uh, once more, number 218. Number two, song number 218. Would you turn there and join me in singing, He Leadeth Me? <laughs> we'll shorten it just a little bit. First, second, and fourth verse.
Okay, we're in the midst of looking at Revelation. So let's, uh, today will be of Revelation chapter 4. So let's begin with a word of prayer and then move into our study. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, how grateful we are for the Word of God. Father, great, we're thankful for this study. And now, Father, as we move into in our study, Revelation 4, and following the days that wait to us in future, Father, we pray that your, your Spirit now will open our eyes to things we have to see. Father, we pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. <clears throat> Okay, chapter 1 dealt with seeing the glory of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> then we saw chapters 2 and 3. Chapters 2 and 3 were the church age and the seven churches. Now, <clears throat> chapter 4. Chapter 4 begins the plan of God in control. God in control, Jesus Christ in control of the world. Up to this point, Satan has been in control. Now, Jesus Christ is in control, and we have a great battle going on in Revelation chapter 3. Uh, Revelation 3. Now, let's go through and look at this. Let's first of all, since we're just going to do the whole chapter to one class, let's look at chapter 4, verse 1. After these things, of course, that's after the church. After these things, I, John, <clears throat> looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven, and the first voice which I had heard, like the sound of a trumpet speaking with me, said, Come up here. And I will show you what, mu what must take place after these things, after the church age. Okay, verse 2. Immediately, immediately, I was in the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and behold, a, thorn, a, th a throne was standing in heaven. Throne is over 40 times in the book of Revelation. So as the old throne was standing in heaven and one city, one, just one, sitting on the throne. And he who was sitting was like a jasper stone and a sardius in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne like an emerald in appearance. Now, verse 4. Around the throne. Now, now we're going to see this round, looking at the throne in different ways. Right now, around the throne were 24 thrones. And upon the thrones, I saw 24 elders sitting, clothed in white garments and glow and go, golden crowns, on their heads. Verse 5. Out from the throne. Uh, throne. So first of all. Verse 4. Around the throne. Verse 5. Says around, out from the throne. Came flesh. A, fla a flash of lightning. And louds. And, uh, and uh, sparrows. Sparrow. And uh, thunder. And there were seven lamps, seven lamps, the fire, the fire burning before the throne, which is, which are the seven spirits of God. We'll find out what that means. Verse six. And before the throne, so now we're looking at before it. Verse four was around it. Now verse seven, verse four or six, and before the throne, there was something like a sea of glass, like crystal. And in the center and around the throne, around it, four living creatures. 
with living uh, full allies in front, full seeing in front, and seeing eyes behind. Now, verse 7. The first creature, so we saw four, so now the first creature was a lion. The second lion was, all right, it says a calf, but we'll see what that is, ox, okay, in a little bit. And the third creature had a face like that of a man, and the fourth creature was like a, fl a flying eagle. Not just an eagle, but a flying eagle. Now, verse 8. And the four living creatures, each one of them having six wings and full of eyes around and within, and day and night, they... Okay, now here, first of all, we're going to see something. The four living creatures are now going to do the singing. Now, do... Uh, they do do not uh, cease to say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty, who was, who is, and who is to come. That's our book. And when the living creature, giving glory and honor and thanks to him, who sits on the throne, sits on the throne, sits on the throne, who lives before, uh, forever and forever. Verse 10. The 24 elders will fall down before him who sits on the throne and will worship him who lives forever and ever and will ease and will cast their crowns Throne, cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, our Lord and our God. So the four Greek, the 24 elders are now claiming that whoever is dealing with the Lord is their Lord and our God to receive glory and honor and power for you, for you created all things whoever was created all things so it's Jesus Christ of course and because of you of your will they exist and were created so creation is very important part of this whole study now chapter 4 verse 1 begins with the uh, word meta tautu t-a-u-t-a after these things that is after the church age has passed remember remember one chapter one verse 19 right one the things which you have seen and the things which are the things which are to come the things in uh, the things that are in. now verse one chapter four verse one after these things. This is after the church age, and John is John is now in to see the scene, the scene of heaven, as is also seen by Job chapters one and two, first book of Job, first book of the Bible, Job one and two. Here we said the same thing in chapter verse one of our chapter four. I looked, and behold, this is not an ordinary door. This is a door in heaven, a door standing open in heaven. There are four doors in Revelation. Three, chapter 3, verse 4, the door of opportunity for service of the Messiah and missionary. Secondly, chapter 3, Revelation 3, verse 20, door to our souls for fellowship with Jesus Christ. Chapter 4, verse 1, the door of heaven for John to see all these things he's going to be seeing. And then coming in will be chapter 19, verse 20, the door of heaven for the second coming 
of Jesus Christ. So there's the four doors. A door opened in heaven, and the first voice which I had heard, like the sound of a trumpet speaking with me, said, Come up here, and I will show you, and will make, and will uh, show you what must take place after these things, that's after the church, after these things. Now, we now have passed through some 2,000 years of church history. Close to 2,000 years. And now the rapture has occurred in this study. And the church is caught up in heaven. The church is removed from earth, is now in heaven, having received the promise of Revelation 3, 20, because you have kept the word of my perseverance, perseverance, I also will keep you from this hour of testing, the hour of temptation. That hour which is about to come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on earth. So that's what you and I are going to be seeing and then leaving. To keep from tribulation which is now pictured in remainder of Revelation. The church is seen in 24 elders now in heaven. Seen again in chapter 19 at the marriage of the Lamb, at the bread, at the bride, and returned with him, Revelation 19, 11 through 19, as the armies in heaven, Revelation 19, verse 14, to resign, to reign with him during the millennium. So all of that is to coming up. Coming up here speaking to John. So John gets to uh, go through all of this. And this is reminder of one three blessed and happiness this book. You want to read this book not just for here but not one, not every half a year. You ought to read through Revelation. Okay, now chapter 2. Chapter 4, verse 2. God on his throne in heaven. God on his throne in heaven. This is God the Father on, he's on the throne. Chapter 4, verse 2. Immediately, I was in the Spirit. I, John, was in the Spirit. Now, this is not referring to what we mean when we talk about being filled with the Holy Spirit. It's not with that. This is talking about what happened with Paul in 2 Corinthians 11, and now to John, what John is talking about in an out-of-body experience. Philippians chapter 3, 20 through 21. Now, Verse 2, immediately I was in the Spirit, so the Holy Spirit taking him, and behold, a throne was standing in heaven, and one sitting the throne. This throne is mentioned some 42 times in Revelation. This throne here is being on God, being God the Father. The and Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, is here. Chapter 3, verse 4. Chapter 4, verse 3. Manifest words describing him. And he was sitting, was like a jasper stone, brilliant stone, like diamond, and a sorius blood red in appearance. You can appearance, um, appreciate that the first and last stones are the blood, um, blessed stones, breast stones of the high priest in Exodus 28, 17 through 20. Now, but, I love that word in the Greek, in the Bible, but look at verse 22, verse 22, 11, Jasper, 
as part of the glorious elimination of the new Jerusalem. 21, 18 of the walls of the city, the proper, the uh, porter, Jasper and Zardius are part of this, of the solid, solid, foundations, foundation of the foundation of the new kingdom, chapter 21, 19 through 20. And there was a rainbow touched again in the Bible around the throne. So there's a rainbow around the throne like an emerald in appearance. So I hope you get a picture of what's going on this throne. On the throne, the members of the Godhead sit and the 24 elders are around it and there is a rainbow around the right, the uh, bow, the, 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 the servant, the soul, sorry. Well, I'm looking you sip a little bit of water. Okay. Note three, note uh, chapter three, verse 21, you will find more, both, both Jesus Christ and God the Father are sitting on the throne and emerald was the color of green. Color of green is important in the Bible. Psalm 23, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. And in the uh, Mark 6, 39, the feeding of the 5,000. And he asked them to sit around the green. Now, we have seen what is on the throne. It's the Godhead sitting God the Father Jesus Christ we have seen around the throne the rainbow now verse 4 another of the descriptions around the throne around it this one around the throne around the throne there were 24 thrones so around the throne are 24 thrones and upon the thrones I John saw 24 elders city clothed in white garments and golden crowns on their heads they're going to throw these crowns down later right now they're around them note five things about the 24 around the throne so let's go for five things one they're called elders. Elders. Two, there are 24 of them. Three, they are sitting. Four, clothed in white garments. And five, crowns around their head. The 24 elders represents the rapture of the church. I, uh, number one, there are crowns in they ran the uh, crowns in the uh, in the urn. They earn, so they're going to be after earn. You and I are going to earn them. Five of them, five crowns. We have to earn. One, the in, the incorruptible crown. First Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty six. Secondly, crown of rejoicing. You can win that one. Philippians chapter four forty one one. 1 Thessalonians 2.19 The soul winning crown. Then the third one is the crown of righteousness. Those of you that can have that one. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 7 through 8 for loving his return. For a crown of life. This will be seen in James chapter 1 verse 12 and uh, Revelation 2, 12 to 10, for faithful in few, uh, further suffering. And so five, by the way, no one of us have received the crown of life. You got to really suffer for that one. Chapter five, the fifth one, crown of glory 
1 Peter chapter 5, verse 4. This is for the teachers of the word of God. So there are five crowns that you can lay out there. Now, secondly, elders. This refers to older or senior or wiser people. Eleven, or the next third one, the feature of 24 seems to be taken from uh, their 24 course, the courses uh, in represent their whole, the whole group of the church. To a group, this group, this is called 24 since the church is a kingdom of priests. The 24 elders represents the church as a whole. And then for sitting in a sitting, and the reason they're sitting there is sitting in authority. All right, any question? Okay, verse. I, uh, I do about the crown of life. What are you saying? That's for the people that have suffered and died, a, a martyr for him? The crown of life are those who are to faithful to witnessing to others and they get the crown of life you're saying that so, none of us would have that because we haven't suffered that much no you've you've got a witness you've got a witness well, that's, that's i never true. i've never come close to the uh, crown now i'm more confused okay you're talking yeah. about people like the Risleys and the missionaries yes. that we're here yes. that have suffered. Yes. This keeps on witnessing. Okay. Okay. Now, verse five. Out from the throne. Out from the throne come flashes of lightning and sounds and barrels of thunder. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. So, here's the throne, and out from the throne the Holy Spirit comes, and the, the seven uh, seven come from the, seven spirits come out of him. This is a thundering storm approaching the earth. This refers to the th storm of the coming judgments of judgment, of tribulation, which we will be studying as we go through the book of Revelation. This also refers to the seven ministers, ministries of the Holy Spirit, which we will study along with it. Now, verse 6, verse 5, about the Holy Spirit. Now, verse 6, we have another of the throne a throne and behold and before excuse me and before the throne before the throne seeing him in front of it there was something like a sea of glass like a crystal peace peaceful and, re, and, uh, re, and reconcile with God and secure and in the center and around the throne four living creatures full of eyes in front and behind they see everything some some say now here you listen some say that the four living creatures are angels others say the tributes of tri tributes of god i don't believe that at all because they're going to sing praises to god for other believers believe and refer this to human beings. So whatever they are, whether they're angels or humans, they're going to be in there singing. Now, let's see them. The four living creatures are clothes, servants of Jesus Christ, and even represent Jesus Christ. Revelation 4, 7 full of eyes in front and behind. This refers to seeing before both ways, eyes, both of your eyes 
and behind your eyes. What is being said is one who sees front and behind. Now, verse 7, the first creature was like a lion. Whatever these lay creatures are, angels are people, they're, a, they're like, a, like a lion, like a lion, and the second, like an ox. There's a reason why you change it to an ox. And the third had, had a face like a man, and the fourth creature was like a fly, had a flying eagle. So you had a lion, ox, man, a flying eagle. First creature is like a lion, like Jesus Christ, the seed of the tribe of Judah. Second creature is like a half, a calf. This refers to an ox as Jesus Christ, as the servant of God. The third creature is man, as love in creature, son of man. Fourth, the flying eagle symbolizes for God as glorious. Any help? Okay. Now, verse 8. And the four living creatures, each one of them having six wings, are full of eyes around and within, and day and night they do not cease to say, Holy, holy, holy is the holy, is the Lord God the Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. Okay, that's who was, verse 1, who, uh, and then who was, that's verse 2 and 3, and now is to come, that's what we're studying. Six wings resembles the seraph, who has six wings. And most wings, and angels have different numbers of uh, wings, but the seraphim has six wings. <clears throat> the point of the six wings is their highest rank. Full of eyes around and within, I hear is another feature of Jesus Christ. He sees everyone in every direction. Chronicles, first Chronicles, second Chronicles, chapter 16, verse 9. For the eyes of the Lord move to and fro throughout the earth. Now, and they exalt the name of Jesus Christ. And day and night, they do not cease to say, Holy, 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 the Lord God, the Almighty, that is the all one rule, who says and who is and who is, a, is to come. Now, while well, people will come, well, uh, we, well, we, we should and stay here at this study hours talking about the praise and thanksgiving for Jesus Christ our Savior and friend one thing that I pray that we will accomplish in this whole study of Revelation is the renewed sense of praise of our Lord as our friend praise, worship and thanksgiving Praise, worship, and thanksgiving. These four living creatures are doing what all members of the human race and all creation is to do and will do, and that is to praise him for all that he is in creation. Romans chapter three, uh, 5, verse, uh, 20, uh, verse 13. And everyone, everyone created thing which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the uh, sea and all the things in them. I heard saying to him who sits on the throne and who and to the lamb be blessing and honor and glory and on this dominion forever and forever. Now who was the last time 
When was the last time you just prayed? During the spending time and pray and did nothing but in your prayer to praise him. You praise him for his plan. Praise him for his future. Pray him for what's going on right now. For creation. For earth. To pray for yourself. Praise him. Praise him for his love. For all that he is. I don't know when the last time was you spend the time in prayer, but that's what this is about. When was the last time you spent time in prayer? Just thanking him. Just thanking him for your very being, for your salvation, for the penalty of sin, from the power of sin. Thank, thank him for your husband, your wife, your children, your family. Thank him for your health. Thank him for your work, for those, your, your friends. Remember, that for what for which you give thanks th constant thanks what you give thanks for you will start valuing in your life start with your church the bible filling of the holy spirit as you think about these things you value them turning to the uh, psalm 145 and i started to read the whole thing for this but just verse one a song of praise, praise of David. I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. And now verse, go down to Revelation 4, 8. And the four living creatures, each one of them having six wings, are full of of eyes around and when and within and day and night they do not cease to say holy 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 is the lord god the almighty who was who is and who is coming holy and holy holy is repeated three times here and in isaiah 7 verse 2 and is repeated it both those times, holy, 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 to give each member of the Godhead. God the Father is holy. God the Son is holy. God the Holy Spirit is holy. Now, verse 9. And when the living creature gives glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, to him who lives forever and ever, Note that the four living creatures in the in our study praising of the praising him to give means to recognize what exists. Glory to give the dignity and praise. Honor to give the highest value. Thanks to be thankful to give thanks. In worship to give thanks for who he is in his love. Now, verse 10. We'll have just enough time for 10 and 11. 10, the 24 elders, so there are there 12, uh, 24 elders will fall down before him. So they're gonna fall down. They've already, we've seen them on the 24 elders, on 24 uh, thrones. Now they fall down before him who sits on the throne and will worship him who lives forever and ever and will cast their crowns, take their crowns before the throne saying, so they're gonna take off their thrones, or they, or their, their, throne, their crowns, the crowns around their throne and lay before him. Here, this will be saying, will worship. We would, we could hours here, this is what our whole lives should be, to worship him. Then there is the technical use of the word 
ceremonial worship of God, song, and prayer. The Greek word refers for our word, it refers for kiss or to crouch, to prostrate before that oneself in in homage, in homage and worship. Note, note that they will cast their crown before the throne. And what is this about? What are they doing here? To give all rewards for doing things that they've done to him. We will do that also. Now, we close Hebrews, uh, uh, Revelation chapter 4 with verse 11. Worthy art you, our Lord and our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and because of your will they exist and were created. This goes back up to chapter 1 of Genesis. They will fall down, which is the physical position of humility when they fall down. Worthy is the word, is so important. So to all that follow, and everything that's going to follow in Revelation, but it is also important in our lives to rather recognizing him as worthy. It is axios, which means worthy, me, uh, measure, uh, deserving, meaning the requirement. I didn't want to leave that off. Meaning the requirement. What makes you worthy before God? Your works, your morality, your knowledge, your service, none of these. We are worthy through Jesus Christ. That's why we are worthy. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 20, verse 5. Not that we are adequate, <clears throat> adequate in ourselves. Let me get a little Coke here to water. Chapter 2 Corinthians 3, 5. Not that we are adequate in ourselves, so as to consider anything as having come from ourselves. But our adequacy is from God, who also made us adequate as servants of a new covenant, church age, not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter kills, but the Holy Spirit gives life. But here is, but here in a, here in a, here in a, uh, uh, our context in Revelation 4, Jesus Christ is recognized and praised as worship, as worthy. Jesus Christ is praised as worthy. In next chapter 1, he is worthy to open the gate, the, the door. We're going to study that next week, the opening of the door. Now, verse 11. Worthy, worthy are you, our Lord, and our God. The word for, for Thomas is John and John 24 declaring what, what do they think about Jesus? He said he is the Lord and God. He is our Lord and our God in John 24. Worthy are you our Lord and our God to receive glory <clears throat> excuse me to receive glory and honor and power. This refer, refers to the splendor, the holiness, even for the majesty of God, and the all importance of Jesus Christ. For you created all things, and because of your will, they exist and were created. Things that are created were because <coughs> Jesus Christ wanted them created. Jesus Christ is the creator of all things and all things are created 
only because he made him to be so. Creation is the first act. Jesus, the creation is the first act by Jesus Christ as subject of our praise of God, of praise of Christ. Creation, <coughs> Revelation, is about the beginning of the end of time. It begins in the open of heaven and the throne of God. That's what we've had. That's what John goes to. Revelation 119 begins with one line. The thing which took place, the things that are, the thing, chapter uh, 2 and 3, and then the things that are to be to spoken of, talking about things that we're going to be studying now. Revelation 4 has the three God in it, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the 24 elders, and the four living creatures. Revelation is now ready to look at the beginning of the things that are to begin to happen. And uh, the things that we'll deal with are the uh, time of the battle, tribulation, and then the end. Yes? Martha asked, can we go through all four doors? Uh, I don't think so because we don't, we're not going to go through the suffering. And we're talking suffering. We're talking the big suffering. You've got to do the reading, which I, I enjoy doing every week, every month, is reading uh, the book, the, 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 the um, of the martyrs. Yeah. Martyrs. Martyrs. Most yeah. of the martyrs book talks about things that happen. So, it, 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 it takes some suffering. But the other ones, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Okay? Can we sing Holy, Holy, Holy? I was thinking that too, Judith. That'll be up to you. <laughs> yes! Yeah. 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 Where do we find it? Page one. Page one the hard part finding it on the piano. <laughs> <laughs> we can go out the door. Brian, if you can't find it, we can do it a cappella. Okay. I think we all know. You're going to leave. Yeah, we all know it. Close enough. Yeah. Brian. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Brian, you're on mute on 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 the device. I'm on mute on the device. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
Father in heaven for allowing us our fellowship today. Thank you, Lord, for the salvation you provide, continue to provide, and the filling of your spirit. Lord, may we take these things that we have learned today, hold them closely in our heart. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. 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 Uh, yeah, <laughs>